Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, today I'm going to run through my wax picks for the week, so everything I've picked to melt for the week. Um, it's a big box, I think I've overdone it a little bit, but let's see how we go. So getting started with, so a couple of things I got from Indie Pickup this week, um, or Polish Pickup. So this one is from Luna Wax 1000 to 1, which is Blackberry Raspberry Vanilla. Now this is a really unique product. I haven't tried anything like it. You can see if I sort of focus in there, it's like a sand. And you can see all the different colors in there. It smells really good, smells really strong. Black Raspberry Vanilla is a really nice, um, like I know it's a single fragrance oil, but it's really nice. Um, you can see in here, like it's a, it came with a, spoon or a sh I think a spoon um but I'm not sure I put that so it's yeah it's um it's like a scoopable wax format but with this kind of grainy stuff um like sand I guess um so it's really cool like it's a really cool spin on scoops um so I'm looking forward to seeing how that performs because she's been putting a few of them into indie pickup it'd be cool if she did them in her regular shop as well. Now, Indie Pickup, if you haven't heard of it before, or Polish Pickup, uh, once a month on polishpickup.com, um, a bunch of Indie Polish makers submit like one Polish, um, so you can shop from multiple makers, but there's a lot of Indie makers as well. <clears throat> Sorry, so like Bath and Body and some wax vendors as well. So, <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's running dry. Uh, so Luna Wax tends to participate every month. Um, and the other one I got this month, which I'm quite excited, a brand I've been wanting to try for a while, is Villainous Wax. Um, so Villainous's submission for Indie Pickup this month was uh, Remember the Stars, which is Lavender Petals and Salty Black Sea Foam. Now this one to me smells like uh, Lush Twilight with like a really strong kind of salty sea foam kind of thing going. So it's cool lost a little bit of the yellow stuff off it but yeah so nice big um kind of brick of wax it's quite a lot it's quite big and heavy um and it smells really good it's really strong and cold so looking forward to that as well uh then i have a scoop so from maple and wattle um she's changing her labels which i'm quite grateful for it's just sort of a flat like you know pastel colored sort of thing which look the holographic labels are really unique and cool but it's so hard to focus on the detail <clears throat> so um sorry i keep clearing my throat just um it seems a bit clogged up um so mermaid champagne so she does a few different champagne type scents um and they're all kind of fruity champagnes but with a little bit of a different twist this one's got a very slight kind of oceanic note to it it's mostly fruity and champagne though but it's really nice um, I haven't used this scoop yet, um, but I've, used, I've melted that scent in. I've had it in whipped soap, and I've also used it in, um, uh, like, shop pot format. So um, I know it's a really, really nice scent. I have from uh, L3 Waxy Wonders TikTok the Croc Mirage. So I've got quite a few pieces in this doggy bag left. I've pulled this a few times on the channel. I don't always get to it. I really want to use a bit more of it before summer finishes. Um, it's really nice. It's got salty sea air. It's got um, like grapefruit. It's got some tropical fruits to it. It's just a really nice summer scent. So, um, And I got it in April last year, so I've definitely had it for a while. Uh, then I'll go through the clams that I've picked. So a few favourites. Um, so Game of Tarts, so Super Tarts King Joffrey, which is... Sweet Wedding Cake and Ceremonial Pie. Um, I, am, I do miss the... I like these double-coloured pores that she does. I will miss that when my Wax Wednesday order is going to come next week, which I'm really excited about, um, but they'll all be single pores. So this is one of my favourite bakery scents ever. Like, it's just... It's heavenly. It's got some berry to it. Like, I've tried some wedding cake scents from other vendors or... I've got some, um, and they smell okay, but they don't have that, that berryness. Just makes it so good. Super tarts, hell. So crushed, crushed mint, lime sugar cane, seagrass, and sparkling pomelo. So this is really unique and really nice. 
Like it's definitely got that fresh cut grassness, but then it's got that, the lime sugar crystal. It's almost like a lime cordial or something. So interesting to see how that goes warm. Picked a favorite this week. So uh, Super Tarts Insidious, Driftwood, Cotton Candy and Vetiver. I love all three of those scents and together they are just like to die for. This is what I've got so many clams of this sitting in backup. So I thought I'd bust that out because I love it so. Um, I have another maple and wattle, so berry marshmallow. Um, this one kind of reminds me of like a berry smoothie or something. So it smells quite nice. It's very zingy. It's a very kind of zesty berry. Then I have Barrett's Wax Crafts John, so that's frozen birchwood, smoky vanilla, so, uh, soft peppercorn, and masculine musk. It smells really nice. It didn't throw very well because it's a very masculine scent and quite musky. Um, it didn't throw very well last time I used it, so hopefully none of those um, Game of Thrones ones from Barrett's threw very well for me, which was a bit disappointing because the scent notes were really nice, but um, maybe it'll do better this time. It was um, poured in June, so I would hope that it perform well. Uh, then we have, so Pumpkin Parcel Scents Holly Berry. So this is just a really nice um, leafy tree, kind of lots of greenery, bit of floral. It's really nice. I have from Teddy Bees, I have Winterfell. So, tr you know, wanting to use a piece from um, one of my mini loaves every week. So uh, Marshmallow Fireside, Paler Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow and Vanilla. This one really gives us very strong icy vibe. Um, yeah, icy and birch is what I get most off of that. Uh, just wanted to use a bit more of this be again before summer ends. So Glitterati, Saltwater Taffy, uh, Rainbow Sorbet. So it's nearly a year old now. Um, you know, it's a nice scent, but it hasn't. It's not one that really calls to me very often, which is why I've still got kind of more than half of the loaf left. Wanting to give this waxidence a go. So white birch and vanilla, salty sea air and cotton candy. So this was one of my blends. And I really like it. I really hope it goes well warm. Like it's sweet. It's creamy. The salty sea air is not overpowering. It's just really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I've got... From Tea Time Tarts, I've got Summer Fruit Fizzer, so Strawberry, Raspberry, Blonde Moment, and Fizzy Soda. So I haven't melted this one in a little while. And again, I'm kind of, I'm conscious that oh, it's, we're in the last month of summer. The warm weather does tend to linger on through March, so I've still got a couple of months to melt my summer stuff. But, you know, I want to, you know, if there's any kind of summery things that I'm more than halfway through, I'd like to kind of finish, so that's why I'd pick that one. I'd definitely like to finish that before the summer finishes. Um, I have... Doo -doo -doo. So another thing I just want to get out of the collection and finish. Minty Bean Candy Pale. So Lemon Sherbet, Orange Frogs, Watermelon Lollipops, Apple Slices and Strawberry Pop. So this is... This was a cupcake. It didn't throw very well so I kind of just want to be done with it. Maybe try it in different warmers this time. See if that helps. Uh, Luna Wax Red Amber. So I think this is a single oil. Um, I've not used it before and it's been sitting in the collection for quite a while. It smells nice. Never been something that's really kind of drawn me in though. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to bite the bullet and give it a go. Another Luna Wax. And this one I've had in my box a couple of weeks. I haven't used it yet. So Berry Bewitching Brew. It's a nice good sort of berry. Um, it's not super tea-like to me. I'm really getting into tea scents at the moment. Um, I've got tea and cakes on the way. I've got, um, there's an orange tea and crumpets that I really love. Um, and some of Empire Alchemy's tea type scents. Yeah, look, the tea is there, but it's not, I think berry teas are not really, I'm not as into them as like, I'm really enjoying orange and things paired, orange and lemons with tea, things like that. Um, I've got this, it's, I've lost the label to it, so this is actually from Satin Susie. It's a, it's the remnants of um, steampunk, steampunk cupcake, so like a custom kind of thing where you pick the chunks and you pick the overpour. This was pineapple, fizzy pop, and mojito. Um, 
and it's it's really nice um, but again another summer one that I can be finished with within a couple more melts so I figured I would throw that in um, then I have so I'll melt this at the same time as the villainous wax so L3 waxy wonders iron islands I think it's meant to be copper tone so salty salt sea salt cactus soothing lavender and salty sea air so this is quite different to that even though some of the notes are the same it's quite different to that um, that villainous wax blend it's because the sea salt cactus comes through really strongly in this I really love cactus scents by the way um, the lavender is kind of in the background compared to that cactus it's got that real kind of fresh mossy green water kind of vibe so I really like it um, but I'm gonna finish it off I've got from candles from the keeping room another one I'll finish off which um, so a cuttable pineapple mango Mai Tai so just a really nice strong fruity scent I have from Empire Alchemy I have naughty but nice which is Lord of Misrule type toasted marshmallow and cotton candy frosting this is very sweet this brings really plays up the sweet aspect of sweet and slightly nutty even aspect of Lord of Misrule. So it'll be interesting. I love Lord of Misrule blends. Um, I tend to prefer them with kind of woodsy or I really like it with fruity stuff. Um, I mean, Empire Alchemy I very rarely goes wrong with me, so I'm sure it's going to be really nice, but I'm just not sure if how I feel on cold. I have from Tea Time Tarts, uh, Blueberry Pizzell, so Blueberry Muffin and Pizzell. And one of these cute, I love these things. I really want to order more of them just because I love how they look. Um, these strip waffles. And they just, they snap. So, like, they don't, they're not, a, it's not a hard snap. They, like, bend break. So, it's, they're just really nice and clean to um, break apart. It's a very tangy, it is a slightly artificial kind of blueberry scent. But I don't mind that. It's, yeah, it's, I had a sample of this and I bought more because it, it's quite tangy and nice. I don't get really a big bakery vibe from it, um, personally. I think the blueberry comes through strongest of all. From Maple and Wattle, I have the rest of this chunk in True Blood. Um, I can't remember all of the notes. I know it's got cherry in it, but cherry's not the only thing in it. Um, and it was a really nice blend. I really enjoyed it. Um, these chunks are very cute. They're very sticky. Um, but they're very cute. Yeah, it's got a real kind of smoky, smoky kind of cherry, smoky and sweet kind of cherry vibe. Um, so I, yeah, I enjoy that one. Uh, I have Sweet Sage Scents, Blood Orange, Bayberry, Black Forest. So Blood Orange first, Cedarwood, Moss, Cloves, Black Currant, Plum, Bergamot and Green Musk. I love how she lists all the main notes out. This one is like slap you in the face strong with the Blood Orange. Her blood orange always is. Like, I actually do tend to... I've ordered a few different blood oranges from her now. And I do... Um, you know, if I'm browsing her site and I see blood orange, I'm more likely to order because they are really nice. Um, really, really strong. Nobody does blood orange as strong as... Um, as strong as Sweet Sage Scents, I think. I have from the Woodsy Smoky Sampler from Empire Alchemy, I have balsamic, uh, Balsam Cool Nordic Air and Christmas Treats. I think I'll have to like split that so I can do these in two different warmers. I will find these little sample shapes a bit awkward to, because that's too much for one warmer. But I'm not sure if it's enough to go across two. This would be enough for um, one warmer. This is a really crisp and very super crisp kind of outdoorsy scent. So it's nice. Um, so I've picked a couple from the Maple and Model Very Gory Sampler, so the letter Y. I cannot, I don't, cannot remember what part of the poem these came from. I'm just sort of trying to push my way through and clear them out because they're taking up space and some of the bags aren't sealing properly. So this, it's, it's giving me floral, it's giving me real kind of floral vibes today. I think I've got kind of clean laundry off at other times, but no, today it's giving me the florals. And this is H, and this is one that's not sealing properly, so I definitely want to get rid of it. Um, H is... I 
I'm really struggling to pick what's H is. I think it's kind of subtle, kind of woodsy. Like maybe sandalwood or something, but I'm not entirely convinced on that either. It's, yeah. Uh, so last I've got a few shots that I've pulled for the week. Uh, so I have Ebony Violet by the Campfire. So that's, it's a single oil, but it sounds really good. Uh, Blackberry Merlot, Tobacco Flower, Whiskey, Cocoa, Marshmallow, Sandalwood, Patchouli and Amber. So this one... So I kind of get the, like the most noticeable thing to me is the cocoa and the marshmallows, but it, on cold, but it, you know, I can get, I get that complexity underneath with the, you know, the kind of level of the sand, sandalwood and patchouli and amber and stuff. So it's a really kind of complex, really nice scent. Uh, so from uh, Maple and, no, House of Melt, Blackberry Crush. So this brand is no longer in business, unfortunately. Uh, blackberries, raspberries, cream, vanilla, and floral greenery. One of my favorites from her. Um, and it's really pretty too. It, um, she does this really gorgeous, um, she's got this iridescent glitter, which actually, I'm not the biggest fan of glitter in my wax pools anymore, but this works. You know, this is quite pretty, and the shimmer kind of, it's very shimmery um, when it melts, so it's very pretty. I really like this one because it's, it's fruity, but it's very creamy as well. Like it's not just a it's not just a fruity scent. It's a very the um, vanilla and cream really kind of makes it interesting and nice. This one, so I'm still sort of trying to you know I just want to push through my swanky stuff to get rid of it. Um, so cashmere cedar. I think I've talked about in other videos why I'm getting rid of my swanky. And I only, I think the only reason why I say that is because I don't want people to, you know, think that I'm out there supporting Swanky or anything. It's a long story. So this one's just a very smooth kind of cashmere kind of scent. Probably not my thing, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully not my thing, because otherwise I'll, I'll have to find it at another vendor. Um... So I'm going to blend these. So I've got from K Pineapple Sage and White Sage and Lavender. So I really like, there's a really nice herbal pineapple and lavender blend that uh, Empire Alchemy did. I'm not intending to try and replicate that. I just kind of want to do something in the same zone, if that makes sense. With that said, I don't know if this is the right lavender to go with that pineapple. So we'll see how we go. But I just, you know, I like, I'm really enjoying herbals with pineapple, so... Another couple that I will blend together. So Destination Wax, Thai Sticky Rice. And then I've got um, some left of this uh, Mango Raspberry Gelato. So this Thai Sticky Rice smells good, but it screams out to me to be a blender. Like I don't think I could melt that on its own. Um, so this I've got um, about a third of a cup left. So that's a good amount for me to, to blend away with. Um, and that's a really nice creamy kind of scent. So I think those two will go well together. I have some Empire Alchemy Elysian. So bamboo, aloe, tangerine, papaya, red fruits, and pineapple. Um, this is a really beautiful fruity scent. I really like the tangerine and the papaya. Like it's just a bit different to some of the other fruities I've got. Nearly done. Um, I might just, it's getting too cluttered. I really need to find somewhere. I live in a very small house, so I don't have, like, I film these videos on top of a piece of cardboard on a couch in my dining area. And I just haven't found anywhere else that I can comfortably film, but I just don't get much space. Like, I've got just a little kind of set thing, so, um... Yeah, anyway, side sidetracked. Uh, so Wax Apotheca Minerva smells really minty to me. A lot more minty than when I melted it last, to be honest. So I don't think that will last long, but I just want to get rid of it. Um, I've got, from Baby Got Wax, I've got Temptation Island. Um, so another one I've heard new scents. A very fruity kind of pineapple, mango, passion fruit. You know, kind of usual suspects. I have 
Uh, pour it up. So dragon fruit chipotle. If I said that wrong, I apologize. And this one smells really good. I really enjoy those, um, you know, fruity scents that have like a spicy kind of element to it. It just, they smell really good. That one's really nice. Um, another one from Baby Got Wax, uh, Beach Babe. So I think this is meant to be like suntan lotion. And yeah, it's vaguely fruity, but it's quite coconutty. And the last melt for this week, uh, pumpkin parcel, citrus, sage, and chamomile. So this is very herbal. So we'll have to see. I remember when I first sniffed it, I really liked it. Um, this time around, it's coming off a bit, maybe too herbal for me, but we'll see how it warms up. So that's it. That's everything I'm planning to melt for the week. So um, have a great week or weekend week, I guess, by the time I post this. And thanks for watching. Bye.